Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna fuck you off. Really? You saw him writing your name down in that black book. What Gotta hack that terminal to open up this door. Gotta love the irony of the reverse damsel in distress scenario. Question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old private eye? What are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. My baby's missing. His name's Sean. He was kidnapped, but I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. Bingo. Found this place. Don't know this what is Bone Tech interview number 21 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Kimberly Weiss. Hello, Mrs. Weiss. How do you do? And may I just say what an honor it is to even be considered for the position of overseer. Ever since I was a little girl in mock government, I dreamed that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a community to greatness. My teachers all told me I had leadership potential, and without my guidance as student council vice president, those bake sales surely would have failed. Just the thought of being able to organize and run this small group, to show them a better way, to lead them to a future so bright that they... My goodness. Looks like we're out of time. What? We just started! Yes, yes. Thank you. If you could just send the next candidate in as you leave. Oh, uh, of course. Did I mention I was head of my debate team? I'm sure you did. Thank you. This is Vault Tech interview number 87 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. 
The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name Sukin Harry. That's right. I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself, not the rank and number the government branch on me. No, sir. Fascinating, Mr. Um, Soupcan, would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Come up the works with red tape and bureaucracy, take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sir? You may just be the perfect candidate. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants. Tech interview number 03 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the... Yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well... I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. Huh, hard to believe I'm roaming with my own pre-war relic. Hold up, I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? His only job is to check on the prisoner. Nick, do you really want to do this here? Hey, with these know. human cockroaches around every corner? Down here. Where the heck is he?
hard and loud, huh? Well, get the job done. Bad for whoever cleans up the floors. This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got it. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Hey, Valentine. Let's keep moving. We'll talk once we're out. in my mind. No, I saw something. What, you clowns afraid of your own shadows now? Get back to work. Who's there? What is all this? Hmm. Dirty rats. Making me jumpy. Seen better days, haven't it? Always on good behavior. I'm blind! Found you, knucklehead! You underestimate us again. You and Valentine are both dead. Think they're gone for good? Come on, we don't have to do this. Good. More stairs? Right on Who built ball. this damn fall? A fitness instructor? Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I 
got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Any idea how much this is going to set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. The Allah, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. Wait. Skinny. Remember the quarry. Lily June on the rocks. Ring any bells? How the hell did you know about that? Okay, you two can go. You got until the count of ten. Then I don't care what happened back in the old days. You're dead. What are you doing, Skinny? Skinny's no good for you, Darla. You put a bullet in him, I just might let you go. Wow. You're... You're a bad girl, ain't you? Sorry, babe. But this is the end for us. And for you. You double-crossing mall. Teach me to fall for a great set of legs. Wait. Skinny. How the hell did you know about... Okay, you two could... What are you doing, Skinny? Kill him! No, Dollar. They get one chance to leave. Skinny Malone's putting his foot down. My mother was right. You mobsters are all just talk. We better get out of here, fast. One, two, three, four,
so inviting. I try to Thanks be. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Always on good behavior, aren't you? I try to be? Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Sounds like it must be exhausting. <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. A night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So... I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. You saved those people. No. Those people saved themselves. Because they knew the truth. But hey, I... I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get... Fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who... Who actually seems to get it. You know? So... Should we head out?
public is here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. Hi there. Hey lady, that interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. I'm not supposed to talk to people I don't know. Nuka-Cola. Here you go. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, hi. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? God, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. Every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. What else can you tell me? We were in a vault when it happened. Um, vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. There's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? My husband was murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they, they just, they just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers, but they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. Who are the Gunners? High-end mercenaries. No... Super mutants. Big, green, muck. Uh -huh. You think Raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They... So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. Discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? 
The woman was dressed in, uh... I think it was kind of a hazard suit. The man had... some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? The man who killed my husband, he had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that sound. Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like... like sandpaper. Cross your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Oh, yeah. I heard their names, their home addresses, and where their diary keys are hidden. All right. I might have. Everything was foggy. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kel- It's Sean. It, it has to be... Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Oh boy, that's a lot of metal. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Place seems small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. And 
nothing here. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, cigars, San Francisco sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Great clockwork dick is stumped? It's synth detective, jackass. If you're gonna be that way, you might as well get the make and model right. Joking aside, but... I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out... Uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. I'm trusting my family's future to a dog. <laughs> That's it. I'm officially crazy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. Kellogg must have stopped here. San Search Francisco around, sunlights. See if he can pick up the trail. Kellogg's preferred Kellogg brand, pick all up right. The scent again? We gotta stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on?
looks like another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Keep your eyes open. Lost the scent, boy? Dog meat find something? Dog meat can track this. I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. Okay, boy. Let's track him. I think we're alone. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds.
dog needs found something. You know the drill. When it's stout, one of his creature comforts. Dog needs Kellogg's the still out there. We've got to track him, boy. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Won't be chewing on us. Something beat to the deck. Don't underestimate us again. Tracking known mercenary. Exercise extreme Damn. caution. Hell of a party happened here. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. Alert. Critical signs. What have we here? Alert, error. Critical System signs. corrupt. I can't feel my legs. This had to be Kellogg. Signature confirmed. Assailant Kellogg. Known associates. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. Playing hide and yeah, we'll snoop them out. All right.
you think, boy? Huh? Was this our man? <laughs> Huh? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Someone should make use of it. 